Hello everybody, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we're going to go over some newness from Danessa Merrick's Hourglass and a few other products. So let's go ahead and jump into this try on. I'm gonna start with the Danessa Merrick's Yummy Skin. Now this is a blurring balm powder for face and eyes and it says it has obsolete technology, which I'll get into that in a minute. I'm gonna read a few key points over here though. It says it's texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm that controls oil throughout the day and helps maintain hydration. Packaging's really great. I like that it has a spatula so you don't get your fingers in there and get any bacteria in the product. You press down and this little spoon pops up and then you can just scrape a little bit off. I'm gonna go in in the corner right here to show you guys just how creamy this is. It's really, really light. So there are a lot of ways that you can wear this. Let's start with the first way. So to prime, you could put this all over and just use it as a primer on the skin and then put your foundation on top. You can put it around your eyes as well. Hopefully you guys can see how it just kind of evened out the redness and kind of brightened the skin a bit. Really lovely. You could use it as a highlighter If you get a shade one to two steps deeper than your natural skin tone, you can create a contour effect, just like you would with a bronzer or with a contour stick. You just put it in those areas that you wanna create more of a shadow or more warmth. Another way you can wear this, I'm gonna put it on a brush here, is you can use it to set your foundation or control oil in the center of the face where your T-zone is at or wherever you get oily. Do you see how this brightens the skin? It's incredible. I really see it when I put it on my lids because my lids have a lot of color as all of us do. It has a nice coverage for being so light. And lastly, you can use this to set makeup or add a bit of coverage. If you wanted that like extra layer, that extra support, especially if you're oily or you want, you know, more full coverage look for your makeup, you just go and tap it in with a beauty blender and then you press and roll. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in. So what I will say is that it brightens and blurs, but it emphasizes texture just a bit around the pores, around the marionette lines. I'm not seeing too much underneath my eyes, which is nice, but you definitely notice the pores a bit more. Now I haven't worn this with a foundation yet and I haven't worn it with a primer because I wanted to see what it looked like directly onto bare skin. So I will play with this a bit. I see where it could go really right and I could see where it can go really wrong, meaning that it looks beautiful. It brightens the skin, but it also is grabbing onto some areas. So I really want to see it with a primer underneath as well as to work a little foundation onto the skin and then maybe set with this. I'll keep you guys updated. So I took off the Danessa Merricks underneath the eye area from here up all the way around the eye because now I'm going to get into the concealer that you have all been telling me that I must try either because you loved it or because you were curious about the product and wanted to review. This is the Say Hydra Beam Sheer Brightening Under Eye Concealer. It's been a long time since I've found a concealer that I have been wowed by. The last one I'd say is probably It Cosmetics Under Eye, Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. That concealer was so good and is so good, but you really have to set it because it's so hydrating. This, on the other hand, sets without going too dry and keeps some luminosity without looking too wet. And just go on that line where the pocket turns kind of purple blue or green and pink, depending on your undertone. Let's put a little out here. And move that a little to the brow bone. Now I like to tap it in to warm up the pigments in the product. Remember to go outward on marionette lines so that you're not pushing pigments into that fine line or that deeper set line. Let's go in with another layer just to see if it can cover a bit more on that dark spot. 
So I wouldn't say it covered it completely, but pretty good. That's about three layers of this concealer. As a professional makeup artist of 25 years, I hardly am mind blown by a product. Mind blown by this. So, so good, you guys. Especially for those of you that are having aging concerns underneath the eye area as well as anywhere on the face. Another product I've seen everywhere is this Rare Liquid Blush. And I have to tell you, spoiler alert, before we get into it, it's very, very good. I have for years used the NARS Liquid Blush. This is better. It's more pigmented and more hydrating, and it's cheaper. So this is a medium coverage, matte art dewy finish. Radiant, creamy, long wearing. I'm gonna do one color on each side of the cheek. I'm gonna start with Joy on this side. Less is definitely more. And then I'm gonna show you guys how you can shear these down even a bit more if you wanted something less intense. But trust me when I tell you it goes on bright, but it definitely blends into the skin beautifully. Feel free to take your finger, tap it in. You could go back with a brush or with a beauty blender. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. Just kind of tap away. For how bright that looked on the skin, look at how beautifully it sets. Now, quick little tip. Say you want a bright blush, but you don't want it too bright <laughs> or you put too much on. You can always take concealer and tap a little bit on top of the blush with your beauty blender, or you can go in right away and mix the two together. Do just a very little bit and create kind of a soft peach color, or you can go in with a little bit more and just slowly build the color up as you see I'm adding a little bit more to the concealer. It's kind of like mixing oil paint. <laughs> so pretty another way i like to use this is to take my brush whatever's left over and then go all over the lid in a very light wash almost like a pastel wash across the lids so I have two new products by hourglass one is the phantom volumizing glossy balm and i got it in the color entice and then there's a new eyeliner and it's the waterproof gel eyeliner and I got it in the color obsidian so let's try first the volume gloss on now here's the kind of cruddy part right away I opened this but didn't try it on yet and I clicked it up not knowing that you can't reverse it it doesn't go back down so whatever product you put up is what you have to use and I hate that because now all this product is a waste. I can't even put the cap on all the way. I had to do it loosely back on so that I wouldn't waste all this product. So, so it states it's a high shine, plumping, hydrating, cruelty-free, vegan product. It's an all-in-one lip gloss balm, nourishes, hydrates, and visibly plumps the lip while delivering full-bodied color with a dewy high shine finish. Let's try it on. The finish is gorgeous. It's got a bit of that mint or tingly feeling to help plump the lips. I like the shine and it feels great. No scent whatsoever. I don't even smell mint. So overall great. It kind of reminds me of the Dior Addict Lip Shine lipsticks. I will say when it comes to these formulas across the board, I like the way they feel, I like the way they look, but it comes down to about an hour later, me noticing that they're all over my face, are there, and all those little fine lines that I have now, being in my 40s, all these little lines are starting to creep up around the edge of my mouth if I don't use a wax lip liner. So I would definitely wear this with a wax lip liner if you have fine lines or worried about you know it creeping up around the mouth. I do find these formulas kind of get in the creases on the side of the mouth here as well. So they're beautiful to me, for like a photo shoot or a good 10 minutes to maybe a half an hour of wear before they move around. But it feels great. I think it looks great, but I just want you guys to note a couple of those key points before you invest. And lastly, the gel eyeliner by Hourglass, the color Obsidian. It says it's a waterproof gel eyeliner. It says also it's a 12 hour high impact wear without smudging, bleeding, or fading. And like I had mentioned, it is waterproof. All right, so this has a twist on the bottom, twists up so you don't have to sharpen it. Let's see if this glides on effortlessly, shall we?
My concern is after I open and close, open and close the cap, will this gel formula not get hard or dry out in this case, which I find happens a lot with these types of formulas. So I'll keep you guys updated. Another thing, I kept pulling this out, hoping that it would have a sharpener at the end, because I know a lot of these types of formulas have a sharpener. Chanel Stila Waterproof Eyeliner, for instance, has one so that you can keep this nice sharp tip since you can't sharpen it. That I'm not seeing either. So it means I'm gonna have to use either the back of my hand or a paper towel and twist it on there to create a sharp point again. Something that I'm not super impressed by either. Now these are $28, so similar to a Chanel pencil. My favorite are Chanel and Victoria Beckham. Victoria Beckham's creamy, it's a cajole, so it goes on beautifully, but it does move around a bit throughout the day. But I like the way that they blend, and the Chanel waterproof don't move, don't budge, but they're a bit dry, but they stay in place. So far, so good. I'll keep you updated on the longevity of this product and how it lasts in the case as well as on my eyes. All right, everyone, we've hit the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed all these little pieces of newness and hopefully you were able to learn something. If not, have a little fun playing with makeup with me. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, comment down below. And if you want to support Shri Voyage, all you need to do is use the affiliate links below, subscribe, like button, and leave me a comment. And if you guys want to work with a professional makeup artist of 25 years, all you need to do is head over to shrivoyage.com and you can book a service with me. All right, everyone, till next time, don't forget to take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.